Yes, mate. So we're in the Falmouth Massive. Falmouth, mate. Proper Falmouth. And the reason it's called Falmouth, mate, is because they invented the swear words, mate. They invented the words like fuck off, as in the name, foul mouth. And pretty much, mate, that's how it got known around here. So we've come down to the day of the crew, mate. We're proper going to have a little look here around and see what's going on. And proper show Falmouth like we're proper gangster, innit? So proper, we're also going to play spot the co-op, mate. There's usually a co-op every place we go. So proper Falmouth massive. Trago Mills, mate! Trago, look, it's Trago over there, mate. Yes, mate. Got to see deals, Trago. So when you come down to Falmouth, right, there's one name that you'll never forget when you come down here. Rick fucking Stein. Um, it was originally in a band. Um, I don't know what the band was called, actually, but it was some really shit band that never really got anywhere. And he then discovered that he was better off working as a caterer than he was a, you know, a singer and a musician. So he turned eventually decided to become a takeaway place and that there my friend is why it's called Rick Stein takeaway everywhere you look it's like hashtag Rick Stein and um, proper I'm not talking about the wind in the willows here mate I'm talking about the Rick Stein uh, he's like he's kind of like one of Gordon Ramsay's like best friends but Gordon Ramsay like kind of like said get out of my kitchen and that was the end of him you know what I mean and uh, Rick Stein ended up coming down to a little place like Falmer Get out of my kitchen! Get out! Get out, Rick Stein, you idiot! Also, guys, this is an ar arsonist's paradise, literally. Everywhere you look, there's wood. 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 I'm not kidding you. If you let an arsonist, a guy forks down here, mate, they set light to this quicker than they can set light to Parliament, literally. Everywhere you look, wood. Wood. Oh, a bit of glass there, mate, but I didn't stop Blondie, did it? Um, so, yeah, pretty much. Uh, everywhere you look, wood. 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 Um, literally. Uh, an arsonist here would have, this would be an arsonist's wet dream, literally, to see this place and like, it's all made of wood! And uh, they would if they could, you know, a bit of lighter fluid. Literally, mate, you could get Pinocchio to tell a lie around here, mate, and I tell you, you get him to lie every single time, you have a whole new bloody house in a couple of hours. There's so much wood here, literally, not even Pinocchio could, could you know, make this much wood without his, without his lies, literally. Probably Pinocchio probably lived here once, that's why they got so much shitty wood everywhere. I think this would turn out for the books, mate, anyway. They've got Traeger Mills down here, mate, and uh, we already know about Traeger Mills, and they like to have a bit of a, well, a bonfire, shall we say. It's a bit of a strange thing. Woodwork down there, Traeger Mills is right next door to you. That's kind of worrying, actually. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about selling up wind and fire CDs here, mate. Proper, <laughs> I tell you, Keith Flint would have an accident field day down here. Rest his dear so. So we've come to Traeger Mills, mate. Traeger Mills. And we're not talking about bills here, mate. We're talking about these Dragon meals where you can get on a special offer a cooking pan wok for $9.99. So if you're not familiar with Dragon meals, Dragon meals is like they've got three places. They've got one in the Heathfield Massive, one some of the part of the Cornwall Massive, and they've also got one in the Falmouth Massive. And um, basically, like they like to say, you cheap books like, um, well, I don't know. I don't know if she was actually good looking for a tits got too big. Uh, Katie Price, uh, five pound, ten pounds. No, I would not pay five pound, ten pounds to see Katie, Katie Price's Babylons. <laughs> We've even got crab lines. Alex, I'll get rid of your crabs for you. You know, the ones living in your garden, not the ones you. Sorry, I shouldn't say that on video, sorry. You know, you go somewhere, there's always a dickhead. Everywhere you visit, you always see a dickhead. I just found one. More irritating than Rick Stein, literally. I thought Rick Stein was enough, now I've got to put my head bleeding shearing. I'm in love with your body. So we've uh, visited Tragel Mills, and uh, it's pretty much like the rest of the stalls in the country, mate. Shit. Um, so now we're going to have a little mishy bosh up to the top of the town and see what's going on there. Right then, guys, let's go up to the town, shall we? What's just going on? Yeah. Oh, look, it's another fish and chip shop. My God, it's not actually owned by Rick Stein. Makes a change. I mean, it's like, you literally, it's like, everything, I think everything down here, right, guys, is like copyright. It's like, copyright Rick Stein, copyright Rick Stein, everything, you know. You would think they would actually, uh, say, you would, think, you would actually think they would say, Rick Stein at the end of everything, mate. Right? I'm just going to probably find a random person, I'll go to them, Rick Stein, see how they react to it at some point, you know, just to see if they, uh, respond. Rick Stein? No. So, mate, you go down the road here, mate, and all you see is shop, shop, shops, and chip shops everywhere. And I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I haven't seen the word Rick Stein in like five minutes. It's just kind of impressive, really. Um, 
I don't know what it is, but I've just got I've just got this I've just got this thing for saying it at the moment, you know. It's uh, I would try and get you a picture of him also maybe we'll see him, maybe we'll meet Rick Stein and we can uh, talk to him about why he thinks it's okay to copyright farmer for something. Literally, it's like it's like literally you could ask anyone, excuse me, it's this place copyrighted by Rick Stein. Literally that. <laughs> it's it's like it's like a name that everyone seems to know. Well mate, that's uh well mate, so that's pretty much my day out in the um Found with massive, mate. The way it takes you to say F off and everywhere was where we to go with it. Found mouth. So big up the found mouth massive, innit?